<laughs> Hello and welcome to another Gem of Wisdom from Archangel Michael. And this is Randall Monk here. I'm Randall Monk, of course. That's me. <laughs> and this is Ronald Vizane. And that's me. Hello, you all. <laughs> and uh, this Gem of Wisdom comes from the September 2021 message. Hot off the press. Yes. Well, as we, as we record this, it's hot off the press. That's correct. When you exist in the first four interdimensional levels of your the brain, you are in an earthbound state of consciousness. Your focus is on self, your personal interest, and the bodily sensations of the five outer senses, which are sight, sound, smell, taste, and feeling. This is the realm of the ego desire body and your personal self, since the greater portion of your soul consciousness has withdrawn into your soul star within the eighth chakra, approximately six to 10 inches above the crown chakra. There is a strong narrow-minded focus on others and the world with rigid self-serving opinions. So we're seeing so we're seeing such a broad spectrum of intellect these days. Because, as you know, it, uh, just consider us that we've been in preschool, grade school, and junior high school, high school, and college. That's, that's like going through the chakras, through the dimensions. We, we were children in the past in those ancient times. And, and with history, you can see how clearly most all of us, except the masters and, and those of what you say, avatars and that were set down, the great beings of intellect. But they were few and far between. There weren't really even very many of those. And so we were like children in the creative process. And as children who just has, they have the, all of that wondrous magic and the information within their brain structure, but it has to be taught to them or they have to be shown or through experience, they have to learn how to bring it down, what works and what doesn't. That's experiment in duality. That's why this experiment is so unique, why planet Earth, why this solar system, this galaxy, and this universe is unique among, I don't know the omniverse or not, but it is very special and unique because when you see that Throughout a cre creation, all the different, say, universes, all the great diversity, it's suns, great beings, energy, was all brought from different places to bring that diversity down to this universe. And then, in order to can, we couldn't all be jumbled in there. That would just be too chaotic. So it was like Michael cut it down to 12 sub-universes. We don't know how many they are. He has simplified it for us. Like he says, this isn't how it actually is, but it's the best way I can explain it to you for your level of understanding. And so within all of those sub-universes, we are in a very unique sub-universe. He's even told us that the one next to us is not really inhabited that much because ours is going to expand as we lift our consciousness and bring in more and more of the divinity from our universe. Our sub-universe is going to expand. Do you understand? And this, this is coming just this minute. As we expand into that next sub-level of our universe, that's the beginning of the expansion and joining of all of those. Once we've integrated what is here in our sub-universe and balance and harmonize and take it up to the fifth dimension and I don't know what, to, what level, then it will begin to expand from there. So do you see what we've been gifted with? How can you not understand that you're not very special? If you were allowed to come and be here now, you are very unique. You were picked from trillions of star seed and souls. And so it doesn't seem like it, but get that in your mind. 
that you have such great potential, that you have so much to work with. And yes, you brought in all of those major things that you needed to change so that you could balance and harmonize those lower chakras and so that energy could begin to move up. And as that happened, then it was like a trickle down effect. Those memory seed atoms begin to come down. The soul merges that are programmed to come in at different times. We've talked about this before. The soul merges that are within within our stars and in, in our oversoul star uh, star chakra that eighth chakra first of all we have to integrate all of that many people those who have not balanced and harmonized the heart chakra and 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 balance a certain amount of the negativity they can't even tap into that they leave with just a, such a small portion of their divinity. And so even all of those that are leaving, I know it is very painful, but understand this, it's also a great mercy. For they are being taken to what you might call intensive care units. And the radiance of the angels of mercy, the seraphim, all of those magnificent angels are lifting balancing and harmonizing the frequencies within them so that they, they will return to that approved spectrum of light and shadow. So they are ascending too. Did you, do you understand what I'm saying? They are gifted because there will be no more third and lower fourth. There would be no place for them to return to. And as it is said, it is enough. There is the divine dispensation. The Creator and, and our Father, Mother God has taken control. They are, they are benefic. They are, it isn't in judgment and they do not punish, but we had to go by the universal laws and the universal plan. Now they're taking control. And now they're saying, you have suffered enough. And so we're lifting you up. That's why it is said, as we ascend and lift our consciousness, all else is being lifted also. And so, yes, it isn't easy to stay centered. It isn't easy to function these days. And even for those of us, who, it is so difficult not to just be, just to be dragged down by, from, with the compassion of, of, of the feeling for, every, for humanity, for everyone. We have to keep such firm control on our emotions, just as they say they are, they do, in order to maintain and do our job. So, mostly of what the Masters, Archangel Michael and the angels wanna do is help and support us, but you have to do your share. Know that you're not being punished but know that it's up to you whether you ride the quest, the quest of these chaotic times or whether you're going to sink into the, in the depths, into the valley of despair. That's why we're here. That's why Brandy and I had devoted our lives to bring this. We have been gifted as bearers of this wonderful information, messages, and energy. Join us. Let's go forward together. We need you. We see you. <laughs> and we love you. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> yeah, you know, you mentioned that um, about the unification of the galaxies or the sub-universes and, sub and all that. Uh, that's that's a uh, high level unity consciousness, really high level. Very high level. And also we've talked about before in uh, one of our webinars, how this experiment on earth is, there's there's nothing like this that has been ever done before. No. This is, no. and uh, indeed we are, uh, anyone who is on this planet at this time is here for a purpose, a special purpose. And, yeah. and so, so stop beating yourselves up. Yeah. And say, uh, just accept those gifts, accept, accept them. It's yeah. there, but you've got to you've got to ignite it. Yeah, just uh, 
follow your passion and uh, maintain a high vibration. That's all for this one. We love you and we're counting on you. See you next time. Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours. Bye-bye. Bye for now.